Well, 80% of Americans are in debt, and COVID has certainly only made many of them their finances worse, which is why this morning we want to help you save money on your monthly bills and reduce what you owe. Joining me via Zoom this morning is Jeanette Pavini. She is a savings expert and also author of The Joy of Savings. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. So you have a formula that can help a couple or even a family save about $5,000 a year. What is it? <laughs> yes. Well, um, it's really a three-step process. The first thing you want to do is write out and look at every single solitary expense that you have in a month. And then divide that into two categories, things that are flexible. In other words, you might be able to reduce or get rid of that expense. And then things that are set in stone, like your rent or your mortgage, uh, tuition, That's that you really don't have much control over. So let's focus on the flexible things. Things like your grocery bill, your cable bill, your cell phone bill, personal entertainment, personal uh, care products, all of those things you have so much flexibility on. And just by making simple changes or making a phone call to the company, you can save a significant amount of money. To save $400 a month is really within reach. Wow. So let, let's start with grocers, for example. This gets me every time I walk in, I've got my list, then I see the BOGOs, and I end up leaving with <laughs> twice as much as I had planned on buying. Do you have any other suggestions about how to reduce grocery costs? Yes, because your grocery bill is the number one thing in your monthly budget that you have so much control over. I have three steps with this. The first thing you want to do is you sign up for your grocery store's loyalty card. If you do nothing else, do that. Then you build your menu based on what is on sale. You look at your week ahead, you look at what's on sale, you put together the meat items, the, the other items that you need, and, and that is your plan. That's what you go in to buy. And then use coupon apps, like coupons.com has a great app because not only do you get coupons, but they also have a lot of cash back uh, items. And just by cash back and coupons, you could save even more money. Doing those three things can slash your grocery bill by up to 50%. And if you are buying lunch out, let's say you're going to work or your kids, uh, you know, go out, really that is one area I suggest that you cut back on and you brown bag it for a while. Yeah, that's 10 or $15 a day. If you think about it, it really yeah. adds up. Uh, what about reducing yeah. monthly bills? Uh, so the monthly bills, and I did this at the beginning of the year so that when I book, my book was coming out, I thought I could speak to it. Take three things. For example, I took my cell phone bill, my uh, cable and utility bill, and my I have a home alarm system, that bill. I called all three of those companies, and I was able to negotiate a new agreement with my cable bill that saved me about 40, uh, 40 to $50 a month. My cell phone service, you should call every six months to see if there's a better plan. Believe it or not, I saved $90 by switching plans. And your auto insurance, right now we are driving much less. Call your auto insurance carrier. See if they can lower it. And also, if you have more than one policy, make sure you're getting a, you know, a bundle package uh, rate on all of your, like a discount, a multiple policy discount from your insurance company. Those can save you. I saved close to $200 a month just by making those phone calls. And picking up the phone and making the call and just simply asking. Great advice this morning, Jeanette Pavini, a savings expert and author of The Joy of Savings. Thanks for your time this morning. Thank you.